Hi guys, welcome back to decorating my flat with me. This is video three. I've literally just finished filming the first one and we are gonna start painting. I have my dad here because he is a painter and decorator, so he's helping me, but he's not gonna be on camera because he's a bit camera shy. So he's gonna do the high cutting in and I'm just gonna crack on with painting and we're gonna see how far we get today. He doesn't think I have bought enough paint. So the yellow paint will be fine, but this on deck, I only bought two tins and my dad said that is going to be nowhere near enough and we're going to go through all that today so we'll uh we'll see what happens hopefully he's wrong but he's a decorator so i think he might be right
Sorry about the kettle. I uh, took the dog out for a walk and let this first cut dry. And I am super impressed with how the first cut has turned out. That wall's not as good. You can kind of see where it's a little bit patchy. That's from the light, that's not patchy. Um, but the, the yellow color is so good. If anything, it probably only really needs touching up, but I've got so much of it left that I'm gonna do a second coat. Um, my dad is now gone, so I am gonna do as much as I can reach with the roller and the extender pole and do a second coat on everything. So I won't be, prob I won't be going up there probably, but it looks so good. I am obsessed with the color. I don't know how well it's actually picking up on camera. It's like a beigey, grey, just the perfect, the perfect colour. It's exactly what I wanted. <sighs> Obsessed. So this is where we are at today guys it is about half past nine my dad is due here any minute and today's task is the middle piece of wallpaper and then just touching up the paint so <clears throat> it hasn't been cut in on these sides here because the yellow needed to be 100 percent dry and then the what is it called like edges but you don't call it edges cutting in all the some of the cutting in needs going over again at the top and there's just a few bits that could do with a bit of a touch up you can't see it overly well on camera um 
yeah, and up there needs a second coat. So that is today's task. I didn't say in the beginning of the video because we just wanted to jump like straight into it because um, I was running behind on my dad, dad's schedule. He thought we was going to start at like eight o'clock in the morning. But um, I was advised by someone at work that is doing up their house that my dad is allowed to come round to help me decorate because he's a painter and decorator. Um, so it's like me hiring him. Um, <clears throat> I'm really sorry if that is not the case and I've broken any rules. I didn't intend to. I did ask someone who's been going through the same thing if it was allowed and because his brother is a painter and decorator so his brother's been coming around and doing painting and decorating and that's been allowed um so i'm just throwing that out there i have checked and it should be allowed for him to come around and do the painting and decorating let's crack on
as you probably saw when we were putting it up, we actually went a different way with putting up the wallpaper than what I had said. Um, my dad decided that we'd start from one end and work his way across. So we managed to get all the bits above the fire up for today. Apart from right at the very top, it was too fiddly. We're just going to have to do like cuts and stuff tomorrow. We just couldn't do it on one big drop. Not happening. So my plan for now before I have to take the dog out is to put wallpaper on the bottom part of the fire. I'll show you what I mean. So I have to match these bits. We already cut off the bit we needed that lines up directly with where we cut it there. We cut off that bit for down there. And then I have a little bit from there to put there. And yeah, I just need to put wallpaper on them bits of the fire. That is my goal for the next like 20 minutes. I don't know about this what do you guys think my harry potter stuff is definitely staying there and there's nowhere else really to put my vac and i think my carpet cleaners got to go around here somewhere too this was over on the other side where i want a sideboard to eventually go and uh, i think i'm gonna do it sort of like black and that wood effect when i get some black to paint it um 
but I don't know. I don't know if it goes there. I just, I hate this little shelf behind, which covers my fuse box. So I've just put my alcohol there for now. And then like that in front, but I'm not, I don't know if I fe I'm feeling it. Maybe it's just the colour. Maybe once I change the colour, it might go okay. But let me know. What do you guys think? So I am gonna end this decorate vlog with me here. Um, I'm gonna take a few like pictures and a few little clips to show you, which you'll have just seen. I'm gonna put them in before this clip of all the finished paint and the finished wallpaper. I am moving straight on to filming another video. I was gonna film while I was in B&M, but I didn't. Um, so it's gonna start out with a B&M haul, so, and it's all gonna be about my living room, and I'm just keeping on with decorating this flat. So if you want to see more, please, please, please make sure that you are subscribed, because I'm doing it, it's happening. I'm literally moving on to filming another video right now. I just want to end this one for you guys. If you've enjoyed or if you like the paint color that I've gone with, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.